I'm 22 years old and I still live with my parents. This is something I have spoken about before in prior videos. I'm not embarrassed to admit that I still live with my parents. Matter of fact, it's actually got a lot of good perks because of living with my parents. That is something we'll get into just now. When I bought my first place when I was 19, 18 years old, it was a tiny house. I lived on my own for a while and eventually fast forward, I sold it and made a decision for financial reasons. Okay, I'm going to live by my parents. We found this property. It's got this and this and that. All right, cool. We'll make it my home. Two years, fast forward, we live in Zeeland, a completely different place and a completely different environment to what we were used to. Busy city, metropolis, everything, cars, noise. Here, it's a very opposite. Now, fast forward, I'm 22 years of age and I still live with my parents. Although there's a little twist that I must add and shall add as well for those who don't know. I live on the other side of the property, meaning that I have full privacy and I can pretty much just do whatever I feel like every day, just like when you have your own house, when you live on your own. There's not very much difference except that one, by living by my parents, I save a lot, a lot of money. And when I say a lot, I'm saving a mortgage every month by not having to be able to worry about, oh, can I pay my mortgage? You know, this and this and that. Second of all, there's not really much difference. I got my own place pretty much. You've seen it or you can see. Got a TV. Got a toilet. It's supposed to be a bathroom, but uh, it's taking, again, longer than expected. Because everything has become so fucking expensive nowadays. Even trying to get a bathroom renovated some people are asking a crap load of money for it. but that's not the point i do have my own place i do have my own space and i do have my own privacy now why do i live with my parents well financial reasons i sold my previous place and i didn't enjoy living on my own i think if i had a partner at that time the situation would have been very different i would have highly likely approached it different some people at this age are living on their own already or they have a partner, they married very young, and they got their own house. Great, you've got two forms of incomes. I'm very fortunate that I'm able to live with my parents. Now, we could obviously state the negatives, this and this and that. But I'm in a very fortunate position to be able to say, hey, I have both my parents in my life. They both take care of my brother, who is 10 years older than I. He's married, got his own house. And they still take care of their son. I'm the middle child, unfortunately. And they take care of the third child. So when you look at that perspective, I'm very fortunate to have both my parents in life. We're all, three of us, very fortunate to have both our parents in our life. Because, you know, some situations, kids turn 18, parents kick the kid out of the house. Some parents do that. My mom and dad came from a different generation where as soon as you were 18, good fucking luck. Do what you got to do just like we had to before. Got no money, you got to work hard, and you got to do your thing. Now, obviously, I come from a very different generation. Some would say snowflake generation. Unfortunately, yes, that is quite true. But am I ashamed of the fact that I live with my parents? Absolutely not. Why should I be ashamed? Why would I have to be ashamed? It's not my fault that the housing market is through the fucking roof nowadays and that I cannot afford a simple house because they... They, they ask so much money for such a small fucking place nowadays that you're like, all right, so even if I could afford this, is it really worth my hard-earned money? And in a lot of cases, no. I mean, don't get it wrong, I have looked at properties here. I have looked throughout the entire country. It ain't worth my money. What a fucking waste of my money most of these houses have been that I've looked at. I'm like, all right, this is at least 100000 just to invest in the house with the kitchen, a new bathroom. Because when you're unfortunately like me in a situation that you have a one income, you don't have a partner, yeah, things are a bit more difficult. Because when you have a partner and you both have a full-time job, you have a full-time income, then you can be more comfortable with, okay, we can go higher in budget mortgage-wise. We can look for a house maybe that has a bigger garden, perhaps even detached. But in my situation, unfortunately, no. If you're not making 4000 a month or 5000 a month, as a individual, you can pretty much forget that detached house or oh, I want a big garden or this and that. You're going to unfortunately have to live with, okay, I don't really have much choice when I look at my budget. I got to do what I got to do. 
And unfortunately, in a lot of situations, you find houses that are shit pretty much. There's no other word really to describe them or it's super far from the cities. And look, don't get it twisted. I come from Rotterdam, born and raised there, lived there for 17 years. And the housing market in Rotterdam is fucking insane, very unaffordable. It's hard work. And the whole reality is most of us probably will never be able to afford a house working as an individual. Obviously, that one day I hope will come that I have a partner that I can build something up and have my own place. Obviously, I want a kid one day. I'd love to have a kid, matter of fact. But I will not get a child unless I have my own place. Now, why is that? Well, I've always told my parents, I love living here. I have freedom every day. I can do what I want. I don't have to stress about nothing. I have freedom. That's the most important thing for me is that, okay, I don't mind living with you guys, but there need to be some rules that I want you guys to respect. And there are some rules that I'm going to respect. All right, fair deal, no problem. I have always told them the day that comes that I have a partner and we want something very serious in a way of, okay, we both want to start up a family, is the day that I will have to tell them, like, listen, hey, we want to start up a family, but we're not doing it here. And I've told that them very blunt in their face because I don't want my personal life and have my parents involved in it, if that makes any sense, because shit's going to go down regardless. It doesn't matter how good your bond is with your parents. My biggest advice is if you're in a relationship with someone, don't let your partner get in between your parents and don't let your parents come between your partner. That's just the truth in most cases because um, one of the two or both is going to fuck it up completely and I'm not looking ready for that at all by any means. But yes, I would like to have a kid one day. But again, like I said, the unfortunate truth is the housing market is just very unaffordable nowadays. If you are a student, for instance, and you want to go in like Amsterdam or Utrecht, you have to work full time. You have no choice. You cannot do part time. You, you cannot do that. Because the, the rent is ridiculous. And that's the ironic thing. And, it, and there's a funny part, right? Which we always say in this country, which is a joke. You have older people. And I'm talking about people that used to buy houses in 60, 70, 80 years ago. That are ignorant as fuck. And just say, well, why not work harder? Listen, you fuck knuckle. You can work as hard as you want to. But if taxes get increased, everything is getting more expensive... Your money is worth less. It's called inflation. You can work those 60 hours a week for 3,000, but if mortgages are through the roof, if there's a certain amount of interest rate on a mortgage that are higher than 20, 30, 40 years ago, a lot of us will never be able to afford a house. But here's the funny and ironic thing about this country, which blows my fucking mind all the time. A lot of us cannot get a mortgage with the salaries that we earn, but we can afford rent. Does that make any sense? Absolutely not. A perfect prime example. My cousin, for instance, when he moved in the Netherlands 2020 during COVID, obviously not where did he had a rental place for the first couple of months because, hey, he's new in the country. It took him four years to be able to get in touch for a actual property. Why? Nobody knows. Every time we kept wondering, okay, wait a minute. He's not eligible for a mortgage to buy a house, but he's, he's, he's spending over 1200 in rent a month. That doesn't add up. It makes no fucking sense. How is he not able to be get a, What? Make it make sense. It makes no sense. You can't get a mortgage, but yet you're over here spending $1,000 a month on a, on, on a property that isn't even technically yours on paper. Welcome to the Netherlands. Makes no sense. And I'm sure a lot of other countries will probably have the same reason. You know, the fortune truth is, it is what it is. But I'm not embarrassed to admit that I still live with my parents. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to mention this as well. The plan is to one day get out here and have my own actual place. Living on my own. Preferably with a partner. That makes the most sense. Because then you can also budget more in mortgage-wise. And then you can budget in more what you want for a house. But on your own, often you're very limited. Unless you're a lawyer or make 4 or 5k a month, you're pretty much fucked. Especially if you want to stay or live near a city. Because the more central you go into a city, the more you pay for less square meters, unfortunately, is the truth. But that's kind of about it. Do you still live with your parents? Let me know. I know someone, matter of fact, who has two jobs, makes 
way more than the average American buddy of mine, he can't get a mortgage. Why? I don't know. The American system works very different than the Dutch, he's told me, but um, bro makes what a regular family makes in five years, money-wise. Yeah, it's insane when you look at the Dutch statistics. The average Dutch person makes 2400 a month, which is the average salary. And even with that salary, you know, you often cannot get a mortgage because the banks need assurance like, okay, can he actually afford this mortgage if shit hits the fan? But yeah, it's, it's very cruel, but it's at the same time, I'm very fortunate enough to have parents that are there for me because they could have also just said, fuck it. Get out the house as soon as you do 18. Now, it's the thing I have to say. When I was 18, I made the choice on my own to get out the house because I was like, okay, I want to live on my own and I want to see what it's like. And if I look back on that situation three years ago, I would have done things way different at the time and approached different things differently. But hey, I have learned from my past and I don't want to do it again and I won't do it again next time. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time. Adios, amigos.